In this video, we're going to check out the Yahitech adjustable mobile TV stand and assemble it. First, we'll unbox it and see what's inside. Here's everything all laid out. You'll notice everything is labeled with numbers that will be referenced in the instruction manual. And you'll get a pack of nuts, bolts, and tools. Here's a look at the instruction manual. Just pause on each page to read. Now we'll assemble the unit starting with the four wheels. And these are locking wheels, by the way. Screw all four wheels into the base. Then grab part number six and install the four covers on the base. The part that flares out goes on top. Grab the center column, part number five, and the two extension bars labeled 15. The center column will be installed this way with the cable opening at the bottom and towards the rear of the base. Slide each extension bar into the center column. These are adjustable. Place the center column into the holes on the base. Grab four J bolts and four E washers. Place a washer over each bolt and screw two bolts into the top of the center column. Use the included hex wrench to tighten. Turn the base upside down and place the other two bolts in the bottom. Grab the bolt cover, part number 14, and place between the center column. It will snap into place. Then you'll need both shelves, that's part number seven, two number 11 bracket arms, and two number 12 bracket arms. Place the brackets over the notch on the bottom of the shelves like this. Do this for both shelves. Grab the four number 13 brackets and they'll fit on the shelf bracket arms like this. You'll need four H bolts. Connect the bracket arms onto the center column using the four H bolts. This is easier if you have two people. Tighten with the included hex wrench. Now you'll need the back plate part number one, eight E washers, four I bolts, and four L nuts. Place a washer over each bolt. Attach the back plate to the center column. Place another washer on each bolt and screw on the nuts. Tighten with the included tools, but don't over tighten or you'll bend the tube at the top. Grab parts nine and 10, two D washers, two K bolts, and two M nuts. Place a washer over both bolts and attach the shelf to the arm like this. Tighten with the included tools. Then grab 2D washers, 2K bolts, and 2M nuts and attach the arm to the center plate. We're actually going to change the orientation of this shelf later 
but you can leave it like this if you prefer. Now, you'll need the two TV mounts, parts number two and three, and the two thumb screws, part in. Attach the thumb screws into each mount. This is how you'll adjust the tilt. The mounts will hang on the back plate like this. Grab your TV, and you should have mounting holes on the rear. You'll see four holes. You may need to remove a couple screws if they are occupying the holes. Consult the manual for your TV if you don't know which mounting holes to use. Use bolts A, B, or C, depending on your TV, washers, and use four F or G spacers. Construct the bolt like this. You must use the spacers and proper mounting holes, otherwise you may damage your TV. Consult your television manual if you are unsure. Then attach the mounting arms to the TV. The hook should be at the top. Don't over tighten, but make sure the mounts are secure and don't move. Then hang the TV on the back plate. This is easier with two people. Once the TV is centered, lock it down with the screws. And that's it, you're done. This stand can hold TVs from 32 inches to 65 inches and up to 110 pounds. As mentioned earlier, we reoriented the top shelf to be a remote holder at the bottom. Just turn it upside down. You can adjust the tilt of the TV by 13 degrees backwards or forwards and use the thumb screws to lock it down. The stand rolls easily, even on carpet, and you can use the holes on the rear to route your cabling, making things look cleaner. The stand is very sturdy. It's not shaky or wobbly, even with this 55 inch TV. So if you're looking for a mobile TV stand that's heavy duty, adjustable height, tilt, includes shelves and cable management, this one is worth checking out. That's the Yahitech Adjustable Mobile TV Stand.